super nerd friends. It's Saturday. Saturday again. Yay, Saturday. Uh, yeah, and we never spoke of that again. Uh, Alexis, uh, sad that health things. Just, uh, just tell your body to quit it and just get better so you can work and enjoy, enjoy weddings with, with without, uh, leg pain. That's weird. Hope that just goes away and hopefully, uh, change in, uh, Exercise schedule, we'll get rid of that, uh, but that'd be really exciting if, if you did wedding, wedding vlog. Uh, maybe not the whole time, because, you know, you want, want to just, like, sit back and be able to enjoy yourself, but, uh, it'd, it'd be cool to, like, <laughs> follow you around a bit and see what's going on, and visiting, and, and fun stuff, and travel, wee! Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I was, I was really excited for, uh, for the changing of the calendar. I, I'd completely forgotten somehow, then you're like, oh, changing calendar, I'm like, yay, even though I don't know who, like, any of them are, I was still really excited, and I laughed really hard that, at the, the glitter fish, or whatever that was, oh my glitter fish, what, what's happening, but it was hilarious, I laughed really hard, uh, I don't know why that reminded me of, um, uh, of, of pigeon dating, but I, I, sh I should start that, because I don't have, uh, really any games that I'm playing at the moment. I'm just kind of finishing up on Assassin's Creed for fun. Uh, but uh, I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to go back and like watch those videos. <laughs> My awful accents, because I... I don't know, it's gonna take me a bit. Maybe I'll just remember. Like, I'll see a pigeon. I'll be like, oh yes, you're the one with the Russian accent or something. <laughs> uh, and I, I need to watch some French films so I can remember how to do a French accent. That's the one I have trouble with. I don't know. I don't know why that one gives me so much trouble. Uh, I think just because I haven't watched anything or listened to French accents as much as I do the other ones. It's weird because I don't listen to uh, Russian accents a lot. It's not a very common kind of accent. Uh, anyway, uh, hooray, getting through Sacrifice. I saw that on my phone and I didn't believe it. I'm like, no, no way, by yourself? That's incredible. How did three of us not managed to make it once. It's <laughs> so, like, sad, but congratulations, I guess. I thought you were supposed to be working on your schoolwork. But, uh, that's nice, I guess, in a way. But, oh, we were so close. Ah, uh, sometimes. I don't know. But, yeah, I guess, uh, he there is just to, like, run like hell through the entire level and just get it done. Uh, but... Yeah, I think, like, if all three of us have a pipe bomb on on our, um, player person, uh, like, at the end, I think that would be pretty easy to get the person there, just, like, as long as there are no specials. It's like, that's what I'm surprised, like, you get getting knocked down, uh, because, yeah, that sucks if, when you're playing by yourself and you get knocked down, you, like, automatically lose, because you need it was at least one player character, uh, you know, up and able-bodied for the entire thing. That's why, like, it automatically... You automatically lose if all of you are knocked down at the same time, even if there's, like, a, another bot around. I think that's how it works. I don't know, maybe not, because I remember one time Alexis and I were both incapacitated or something, or I was incapacitated and one of us was dead or something, and, uh... And Francis was a total boss and just, like, saved everyone. So, I don't know, maybe the game was like, well, you might have a chance, but you're screwed, so we're just gonna, we're not gonna drag it on. It's like, well, thank you, director. We. Uh, but if we all had, uh, if we all had pipe bombs, I think that would be enough to get at least one person out there. And, uh, yeah. Were you playing as Bill? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure Bill is the one who's, uh, supposed to sacrifice himself. Oh, Bill. Anyway, uh, about zombies a lot, because AMC had a Groundhog Day movie marathon, which is hilarious, because, uh, I mean, if you know what it's about, it's uh, about Bill Murray's character getting stuck on the, like, reliving the same day for, like, ten years, and then it's, like, the same movie again and again and again. I see what you did there, AMC, but it had a lot of, uh, commercials on for the new Walking Dead, uh, ep not, not series, not episode, season. It's coming up, and they're going to have, like, a season one marathon tomorrow, I think. I don't know. I've heard the show has gone downhill, <laughs> or to the point where the uh, the game, which is quite excellent, I hear, it's like, it far outshines the actual series as far as quality. 
but I'm, I'm just really excited for Breaking Bad to start up again. And I, I learned, heard, the start date for the... They did a weird thing. They broke up the final season into two halves. So I'm like, just call it, like, season five and six. Why, why are you doing this? But, uh, I mean, they would be really short seasons, but I think they would be comparable to, like, the first season, which had, like, eight episodes or something. And all the other ones had, like, 14 or 13 or something. So it's, you know, a half season, but just call it a different season. What's wrong with you? Anyway, so that starts July 14th. Whee! And, uh, yeah, as far as school and stuff, um, I, I think... Well, I know. I'm. Pre I'm pretty sure Alexis knows too. Your, uh, your, your sort of relationship with your parents and uh, your independence. But we we also know that your mother also knows that. And uh, the, um, not not that you should do something just because your mother said so. But that if you and your mother have differing views on something, and you're very sure that your view is going to be the one that you need to do, then you might have a bit of a battle on your hands. But uh, yeah, so I guess that goes both ways. Like, your mother does have good advice sometimes, but you need to make sure what you're doing is, is for you. Uh, but, of course, my, my first response to Friends in Peril is to recommend a book. And, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like, a Defining Decade, Why Your Twenties Are Super Important and You Shouldn't Slack Off or something. But, um, you know, it's written by, like, a psychologist, so it's in slightly nicer wording. Uh, but it really helped me a lot. Uh, not that... I don't know, like I was planning on applying for grad school and stuff anyway, but it just kind of, mm, I don't know, like helped put things in perspective, I guess, and helped motivate me a little bit more in sort of getting life underway uh, this program. I forgot what the, far the first um, part of that sentence was, so I didn't know how to finish it. Whoops. Uh, so I'll, I'll post that in our thread, just in case Lexus wants to take a look at it. It's in the Kindle format, so you may have to... Uh, like, um, revert to something else if you need to. Uh, and I have Pride and Prejudice for Kindle as well, and I can, I can get a PDF almost undoubtedly. I, I, didn't, I didn't think we would, just because it's, it's so easy to get a hold of. But I can do that if, uh, if we want. And, uh, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> I was about to, uh, to, uh, end the video, and there was a thing that I've been meaning to tell you, like, the whole time. Uh, is I have I have news I can't even be uh, a little meanie person and and try to make it dramatic and fake you out because I'm so pleased with it. But uh, I got news back from the University of Pittsburgh and I'm accepted into their program and I'm very excited. Uh, and that probably bodes well for all of the other ones, which is good and bad because uh, Pittsburgh is tied with Michigan for like the number two best program in the country. We and. Uh, so if, if Pittsburgh let me in and they had the most strenuous requirements, like one of them, it was one I really wasn't sure about just because it was like, you need a year's worth of experience in some sort of history or archives job or volunteer work before we'll even think about letting you in. I'm like, well, I'll have a year when you let me in. Yay. <laughs> but they did let me in. I'm like, that's amazing. So, uh, it was well for all the other schools. Just kind of unfortunate because I was hoping that at least like a couple wouldn't let me in because it would make it easier to choose. Uh, but yes, Pittsburgh is a very nice program. I'm very happy. I'll probably make a post on Facebook or something, but I wanted to tell you guys first. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> but it's very nice just because it's the first and it's like, you know, there's a chance however small that like none of them would let me in and now it's it's definite. Like no matter what, I will be going to grad school. And I'm very happy about that. So with that happy good news, I will bid you good weekend and talk to you guys later. Bye.